Mr. Petroji Oliveri from uh, Optica and he is the managing director for Optica and sir I wanted to understand from you uh, what are the products you are displaying over here and the benefits and advantages of these products for your customers and if you can very specifically mention a product which uh, is your unique selling proposition you know which helps you stand apart from other companies or other competitors in your uh, area of work. Uh, well, uh, first of all, the range of our products uh, is based on a main on microscopy, so microscopes, and uh, we are in, in Italian manufacture, and it sounds strange, really, because at the moment, 95%, uh, 98% of microscopes are manufactured in China, and it, uh, it's a really sound can sound strange but uh, it's a part uh, of uh, what you mm, call the unique in plus or minus yeah. a part of that so we can grant uh, we still can grant the European quality instead of uh, you, you, you know what I mean and uh, also added the two uh, service that is one of the most important points that we can offer service quality and uh, speed of course Innovation is another great part of our job, so we invest a lot of money and, uh, and, uh, and time innovating and uh, putting on the market every year uh, more and more uh, items and new. Well, uh, when you say something different, uh, yeah, uh, we have many models that uh, are patented and uh, unique of course, um, designed uh, to match new needs of the customers in general and this is what you can offer uh, so could you give me some of the benefits like uh, would you say the what do you say the research that you do or the accuracy that you give is much better than other products or uh, something about that if you can speak a little bit and give me some idea about that yeah but anyway in each kind of market you you, you must to um, you must understand you can find different levels products okay from the bottom I'm talking about price and quality etc to the top our company we don't put our company on the top of the market of course uh, we say we are used to say good price and honest quality and I think uh, there is a, a huge part of the market looking for that uh, in many cases, uh, uh, customers are not looking for the most expensive instruments uh, of the world, but they still are very good instruments. Uh, you can find the market uh, companies making uh, uh, better instruments, of course, but uh, what is important, I think, is the quality price ratio in general. Yeah. Uh, sir, in terms of the industry, if you see in Middle East, specifically petrochemical is the largest growing industry over here. But there are other sectors like people are mentioning education, healthcare, medical, uh, forensics. Uh, so in these areas, you know, where do you see your growth coming from in the next uh, coming two to five years? If you can give me some sense of that. I I was told the biggest market in the war is a coffee market yeah that's that seems to be crazy but it's true and the second one is a medical market in my opinion and this is all over the world it will be the strongest investment in the next few years um, and also in the education and what I am I'm watching here is that there is a, uh, in this area there's a great investment on that direction. That is very important because we are talking about our health and our children. And a part of that, uh, the rest is not important. So, um, I have good hopes on that direction. Supposedly, a company wants to come here and set up a lab and do work. So, uh, maybe they want to come up with a very good chemical. But testing and analytical uh, facilities have not well developed over here. Okay, so what do you think is the reason for this? Would you be able to shed some light on that? Is it, honestly speaking, it's not, it's not my, my field. It's not our field because um, uh, you're talking about petrochemicals and chemi chemical world and honestly speaking, I, I'm not in the right position to give you my opinion because it's, I'm not experienced on that.
uh, in terms of uh, your area of work, okay, what is the kind of growth you are looking at in the next two to five years? It's very here you mean in this area. Yeah, uh, as you can imagine, it's very difficult to plan anything at the moment because the current situation. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this bad situation will uh, will be solved in a in, in few years. In terms of uh, Arab Labs, you know, you have been part of Arab Labs and uh, what is the kind of uh, leverage Arab Labs would give you for your business growth, your strategy? How is Arab Labs an important part for your work? It's an, es it's an, it's an es essential part, of course. I think it's, uh, a part of the Middle East market, uh, Arab, Arab Lab is one of the most important exhibition focused on, on scientific instruments. Uh, I must say is perfectly organized and uh, still one of the most important because you can see a lot of visitors if you if you if you go to Europe or USA uh, most of exhibitions are empty at the moment uh, it's a uh, it's a very important door on the market also to understand the market and that's very important uh, sir, could you shed us some light about the kind of visitors Arab Lab is seeing? You know, what are the kind of visitors you are expecting? Who are these people? Are they decision makers? Are they just traders? Are they distributors? Or people are just looking at what's happening in the industry? If you can give me a, some sense of your visitors that you are expecting. All of them. <laughs> okay. No, really. Uh, uh, okay, uh, from our side, uh, Okay, we are always looking for two kind of visitors. First, first ones are our distributors, who are the most important for us. But of course, the end users, so researchers, uh, professors, etc., are very important because uh, we can get a direct contact to the real world, and that's very important. Uh, it was nice speaking to you, and uh, wish you all the luck with the four days of the exhibition, sir.